ask Tom on home show. Lisa from Willowbrook has a question about having some contractor troubles. Well, yeah, she's having trouble, Tom, with this formerly sunken living room here. You see the picture here and the squares and all. Well, here's why those squares are there. He says, Lisa writes, we floored, we flooded rather during Harvey. He says mm. the contractor used wood beams and plywood to raise our sunken living room since we couldn't afford a concrete fill. She says, a month ago, we noticed our wood laminate floor shifting. It feels as if there's a hole in one place. How would you go about addressing this issue? My answer is not going to be a liked answer. So uh -oh. I'm just going to give it okay. to you the way it is. If you can't afford it, don't do it. But to make a platform in a sunken area is a really a bad decision mm. on whoever does it. And there's not a right way to do it because it's not going to work. Well, there'll be different problems. One, one will do this, one will do that, whatever the case may be. Yes, but you would have to tear that out. And if you want it to be level, you've got to fill it. It's the only thing you can do. And it makes me sad because I've been getting these questions for, you know, I'm going on 34 years here in the month of October. And uh, this is one that I've gotten for a long time. When they first put them in, they never leaked. They were great. But what happens, you get a lot of shifting, you get a lot of soil changes on the outside, you get landscape changes, people put in swimming pools, and they get this little crack right where it goes up and then across because it's a weak spot in the concrete. And once that happens, there's water intrusion. The ground is settled, the water's getting down in there, mm -hmm. and it's coming in, and it happens to all kinds of people that have these sunken areas. It was a 60s, early 70s fad, and I hope, and the Willowbrook area is full of homes from that era. I hope they don't ever start doing that again because it's not a good idea. Mm. So in her case, it, she's going to have to tear this thing out and save her well, uh, save her pennies yeah. for a concrete fill. Yeah, I think her contractor probably wanted to do that, and she said she couldn't afford it. So I'm not sure what the answer is, but not to do something else that you do have to pay for. I probably would have left it as it was, dried it out, tried to make sure it didn't leak and waited till you had enough money to fill it up as opposed to putting money into this platform. Mm. Sometimes the answer is not a good answer, and this would be a good yeah, case. Yeah, I don't have a good one. All right, well, we're here to help you regardless. We'll shoot you straight because that's what Tom does. He's not going to tell you, well, here's a half-ass way of doing it. We're going to show you the right way to do it. So and I feel shoot. bad for that. Shoot, yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Tom's autofocus going all crazy. All right. <laughs> Go ahead and send us your questions. You got one like that? We'll shoot you straight. Go ahead. Visit uh, homeshowradio.com. Fill out their <laughs> the Ask Tom form and send it in and we'll answer it no, just like this without maybe as much, you know, bang, bang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's all right. We post them every day at homeshowradio.com, Facebook, and our YouTube channel. I'm sure of it because Christopher Lopez sees to it.